Hello, welcome to Eagle 6S off video. We're going to be testing uh, this uh, Cultivate AK Storm. Uh, this has got uh, Prometheus uh, pushing, um, um, it's like bearings, it's got um, barrel gears, and a uh, head, uh, Prometheus string guide, uh, powerful hot unit, uh, basically four, four level nine uh, internals. It's got Prometheus cylinder, uh, sorry, FPS cylinder. Yes, piston, because obviously the full metal uh, pistons uh, from FPS uh, are fantastic. Uh, we've got the uh, gauge uh, Aster installed for increased trigger response. We've got a warhead motor installed uh, for increased trigger response. And we've got um, uh, Eagle 6 uh, M95 spring. And we've got a Deeds connector converted. So um, uh, we've built it uh, for uh, two eights. And it's measuring at 286 um, feet per second. I know you said that obviously um, you know, the previous version was uh, a bit touchy, but I think, I think the, into my soul, I couldn't build a gun for point twos. Uh, there are better PBs out there, so it's uh, just more accuracy to be gained, even at CQB distance, uh, by simply moving to either two fives or two eights. So you know, I'd absolutely recommend uh, uh, two eights, um, you know, even at 14 meters, you know, I've got more uh, head size targets uh, with a pistol on, on two eights than I would have. does make a difference uh, going up the ammo weights in terms of uh, groupings even at CQB distances. So, um, yeah, uh, definitely recommend two eights. Um, but we measured it on point twos and it's 348, so we should be fine uh, for killing when we decide to use them. Uh, but yeah, other than that, um, it's pretty much uh, the best of everything uh, inside there. Super super quick. So obviously, if this is for a CQB, uh, uh, you know, uh, pistol, obviously you need to uh, fast trigger response. So, so that happens pretty much straight away as soon as I pull the trigger. The bolt stop mechanism still works. Going a bit rapid. <laughs> this is seven point four. stop system that's in there um, uh, I like to just do that before I change the magazine but if you don't uh, just remember there's gonna be about a one second pause it can be a lifetime I suppose after you've uh, changed but obviously uh, I'll just demonstrate it uh What I'll do is I'll cock it and then uh, pull the trigger on full auto um, just to uh, demonstrate obviously how long you sort of basically have to wait uh, if you um, do the cock and the fire bring that straight away. So you can see that 
theory you would just get cock on and then just going straight to the fire a bit of a weight but uh, I'll just demonstrate it <laughs> well okay it doesn't like that so <laughs> don't do that Obviously, from the get go, if you cock it and then do it, it clearly goes into some sort of a uh, config mode. So, um, uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, might even be a reset, uh, possibly, or it's just kind of a fuss with regards to obviously the sensor test that it does. But, uh, yeah, obviously, I recommend you know just doing that, then just you know a brief pause, yeah, or uh, just do it on the beginning of the reload. Um, so we have to point this out just because obviously this particular method, but we still um, uh, just get on. Um, so much better with the performance uh, of this gate MOSFET, uh, the Asta, uh, inside of the um, uh, these particular guns. Um, like I say, we didn't have much success with regards to the uh, Leviathan. I've heard that they've improved their um, uh, software and uh, sensor tests and, and all those things uh, since then. Um, but obviously the problem is we've been a, a little bit burned there, unfortunately. Uh, so we're, we're pretty much... Uh, mostly focusing on um, just uh, the gate product uh, for these particular guns and uh, it ends up just being incredibly uh, you know reliable robust and as you can see performing build you know so um, but uh, but yeah feel free to feel feedback to us um, you know we're always happy for, for uh, you know uh, information and um, you know uh, uh, testing results and you know actual practical testing on how you get on with these you know because obviously there's a big difference between us testing in this environment here and, and obviously out in the field so um, but uh, but yeah hopefully you enjoy obviously it's a beast of a build uh, i think anyone will be uh, happy with this so thank you